Another great way to get your users back to your chatbot is by using sequences. A sequence is a series of messages with a certain time interval. For example, you can send the first message after five hours and you can send the second message after seven hours and then you can go on and on and on. With this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up your first sequence inside ChatFuel. Let's dive in. So in ChatFuel, you have two ways in how you can set up your sequence. One way is to use the block builder and the other way is to use the flow builder. And I will show both ways. So if we go to automate, and then we can add our own sequence right here. So if you click on add sequence or group, there you can select sequence and then automatically a sequence is made for you. So what you can do is you can set up after one day. So this message will be set up or will be sent after one day. And here you can specify the block. So this will be probably the first message. So this is the first message. And then after another day, the second message is sent. So this is the second message. So that's basically how you set up a sequence in Chatfuel using the block builder. I personally prefer the to use the flow builder because it gives you a better overview of the complete conversation with your user. So I will show you how you can create a simple sequence using the flow builder of Chatfuel. So we will add a flow and we will name it sequence. So the first step will be actually a delay because we will wait for, for example, 23 hours before we will send the first message of the sequence. So let's say 23 hours and then we will send the first message and then again if they engage with this message, so we will just say engage. Then we will wait another 23 hours. And then we can send the second message. Second message. So we first have to set this as the, start, as, as the starting step. So this will be the starting step and we will delete this one. So this is our really basic sequence in ChatFuel. So we will just first have a delay of 23 hours, so we will wait for 23 hours, then the first message will be sent, then if they engage with that first message, so they click on a button or uh, they, they reply to it, then we will wait another 23 hours and then we can send the second message. And this is really important because if you would set it up like this, then you might be breaking the rules. If you set it up like this, you might be breaking the rules because first you wait 23 hours, then they get this message. But if they don't engage with that message and you will wait 23 hours, then this message will be sent outside the 24 hour window. And that is not allowed according to the Facebook Messenger policies. So it's really important that they engage with every message of your sequence because otherwise you have a chance that a message will be sent outside the 24 hour window and the page can get blocked by Facebook and we don't want that. So how do we know this actually works? We can test this out. So instead of setting the delay of 23 hours, I will zoom in a bit more, 23 hours, I will set a delay of well, let's say 20 seconds that gives us a, a rough estimate of and again here we will set it to 20 seconds so that's saved and then we can just click here on the messenger icon test here in chat fuel and now we need to wait 20 seconds and then the first message will automatically be sent so here you can see that we received our first message. So if they click on engage, which we will do now, we will wait another 20 seconds and then we should receive our second message. And here's our second message. So you see that it's working and you see that it's pretty easy to set up your own sequence. 
just to give you some advice, make sure that with your sequences, you're not sending any messages outside the 24 hour window because then you're breaking the rules and you will get blocked by Facebook. So that's how you set up your own sequences in ChatFuel. If you want more videos on how you can use chatbots in your marketing, please subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't done this yet, also click the like button below.